What if I told you Darwin wasn't the only one with the theory of natural selection? Meet Alfred Russell Wallace. When we think of evolution, our minds usually jump to Charles Darwin, but here's the twist. Alfred Russell Wallace independently developed the theory of natural selection at the same time. In 1858, Wallace sent his groundbreaking ideas to Darwin, who was already working on his own theory. The timing was impeccable and a bit unfortunate for Wallace. Darwin quickly published On the Origin of Species in 1859, and the rest, as they say, is history. Darwin grabbed the limelight. While Wallace's contributions faded into the background, but Wallace wasn't bitter. In fact, he admired Darwin and continued his own scientific endeavors. So was Wallace the real father of evolution? Well, history credits both. But it's clear Wallace deserves a bigger shout out. Next time you think of evolution, remember there's a second name worth knowing. Alfred Russell Wallace. Now there's a story to tell.